Yes. Lend me your ears. Long as our Fevremon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty! Your no Majesty, of how long I have waited this moment! Sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy knife, both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards! Oh, 
Have a heart, cuz. Help me out here. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. As soon as my shift's done, I'm off to the tavern. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap, or oh, uh, aught that poses a hindrance to you. A job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Surely the work of a foul curse, but worry 
Survive a fall from this height. I have not even a pawn. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you alright? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next, and now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story.
a single bolt. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being set- Fie! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Where do you think you're going? You can't just run off now. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fire. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Pray, ask all you wish to know.
I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Should you need to communicate in Elvish, pray call upon me. I will be only too glad to assist. Let us work together. You're a welcome sight, Arisen. My ship's done. I'm off to the tavern. I'm dead on my feet. I'd rather not. If you see old untoward, pray inform me. Look! Master, a treasure chest! We shall have to find a way to reach it. Hoi there. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. St you should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've I have no issue falling asleep, even at... You're not believe. I have a feeling fortune shall favor us this day. Off we go then. Oh, I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor. If you seek to restore your memories, master, methinks a trip to Mel. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. The best quality a soldier can have.
Like it or not, I must go where duty calls. As soon as my shift's done, I'm on the way to I've not the time for your prattling. Bother someone else. Uh, pray, save your strength for our enemies, Arisen! Hail. You a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. Our aid is required, Master. Few can weather a harpy assault unaided. Shall we hasten to Sir Ocado's rescue? Leave this to- Look, Master! Goblins! No room for carelessness. so fast, I can hardly keep you in my sights, Arisen. No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Here at last. The creature's corpse will serve us well. Be sure to aim true. Is that all of them? You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Already are we? Hail, friend! Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor son might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Twas a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. He thinks the truth. If you seek to restore your memories, Master, methinks a trip to Melv might be just the thing.
What a view. <laughs> I'd not say no to a short repose hereabouts. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. A cavern of all things. It seems undisturbed. They perhaps will be the first ones to explore it. Might I recommend we venture inside before bandits find us? These obstacles shan't get the better of us. There must be a way to remove it. Range the tats are my speciality. Master, I hope you like it. I found it myself. If you seek to restore your memories, Master, methinks a trip to Melv might be just the thing. I know the way. Follow me. Well, now, isn't this lucky? Someone who knows the way. What is that? Oh, I a statue. What is this I cannot be sure. We shall have to make our way over to it. Cyclops there!
sure I was hoping for some great treasure. Oh, now I feel a fool. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. are plentiful hereabouts. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Gran, I want to learn magic, please. This again, child. You know full well your father has forbidden it. There are plenty of things more deserving of your interest. Why not turn your aspirations elsewhere? Why must you always take father's side? I'd have thought you'd understand how I feel better than anyone. I'm just grateful I get to be... This is for you, Master. I fear I've naught useful to share. Why won't they let me study magic? It isn't fair. Why won't they... What could yon chest be hiding? I must know! Not all chests contain treasure, you know. I'm just grateful I get to lead a quiet life. The sun's light has grown dim. Ears pricked. Twill be difficult to pinpoint distant foes by sight alone. Visions of roast meat will dance in my head tonight, for all I've stuffed myself. to return at once, Master. Bombardment shall leave nothing standing. We'll have to crane on next to spot our foes in a place like this. Let us proceed with caution. Would seem our fight is not yet done. 
We were battle ready when they found us. This shan't take long. No moral kills. A tip for the fire! Mind you don't burn your fingers. and you'll go up like a bonfire. There you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. We've earned ourselves a pat on the back. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. I've got a good feeling about this one.
your disposal. Slime, master. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. <sighs> a treasure chest! I can hardly wait to open it. Not all chests. Contain treasure, you know. Ha <laughs> ha! I could do this all day! There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old Ouija. I say we collect as much as we can carry. that shield up. Yes, sir. Want a blade in your ribs? Aye, sir. Aye. I'm about to commence the troops training regime. It is a task that demands focus. So if it isn't an urgent matter, it can wait till after we're done here. They will wait. Sale. Much obliged. Shopping is such fun. I quite understand the desire to buy items purely for the pleasure of owning them. I could look upon this sky for all eternity if it wasn't for the crick in my neck. What is it? Got a question about my training regime? Suppose that was an unlikely guess. None took to the training like you did. Open to enlist, then? No. A pity. I'd hoped to add you to our ranks. You'd seem like you'd be fit for battle, even if I were to call upon you on the morrow. Which is more than I can say for the rest. Apologies for assuming. We've had fewer folks looking to enlist of late, and I'm hungry for recruits. Many keep their distance on account of the instructor being a beastron. How very Vermundian of them. At the very least, 
I'd like to provide some decent training to the soldiers we have now. Easier said than done. Especially when the weapons we were promised have yet to arrive. It isn't like to beast their morale having rusted steel to train with. What I wouldn't give for some decent weapons and a soldier to act as an example. Someone with motivation to grow. That'd light a fire under them, I reckon. Mayhap you could aid us. I know tis much to ask of anyone, let alone a stranger, but what else am I to do? Much appreciated. We'd welcome what you can spare. Sir Baron's request is quite understandable. Weaponry and mo- Motivated soldiers are the pillars of any military- Well met. Have you any weapons for me? Good of you to go to the trouble. Many thanks. We'll gladly make use of what you've given us. the state of the village. It is a sorry sight indeed. The dragon truly is calamity incarnate. Fulminous shield, eh? Tis a bargain, I reckon. I picked it up in Melv after the dragon attacked. Can't speak for its contents, but it certainly looks valuable. Pleasure doing business with you. Tis most exhilarating to... over such a sum. Spending so freely offers a unique sort of joy.
Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Goodness, how are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. You hung on and by some miracle survived. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then. Take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Who? Hmm? the answers we need. Shall we ask around? Say, do you think this one's really a risk? This ladder can take us to new heights. After you, Arisen. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you.
all right. I've got you. What could yon chest be hiding? I must know. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. some business with the apothecary, sir. Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? What? You'd do that? You'd get the medicine for me? I suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure. Oh, sir. I'd be most grateful. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And many thanks for your kindness. We could make the fruit... Hello again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit robberant for me? Oh, so this is what it looks like. Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. I haven't much to offer in return, but I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like, I'll bet. Such moments make me proud to serve the Arisen. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Always a pleasure. Oh, there's something written here. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. Yet before to befall him, I couldn't live. Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case, but I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. Leave this to me, Master. I'll bring you straight to the one you seek. Hale, if you've a moment to spare, I'd like a word. 
As you can see, we're rebuilding. A task that can always benefit from another pair of hands. What say you? Would you be willing to help? Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Here's what I need from you. A bask of Saurians has made their nest outside the village. Though they're yet to cause any harm, their proximity makes the villagers uneasy. I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Use them to send the Saurians scattering. Saurians are monsters of fearsome strength. Tis true, but I've yet to meet a foe that explosive casks... ...can't scatter. That's just what I was thinking. so soon. Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. Well, that appears to have sent some of the beasts reeling, at least. To finish the job, I'd have you drop a jar of poison into their nest. With any luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a perilous spot and steer clear of the village boundary in future. But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. Villagers use that water on a daily basis. You must make sure your aim is true. Are we clear? Good. You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. Toss one into the Saurian's nest, and your task is done. A single jar of poison ought to send those Saurians packing. Only, do be mindful not to spill any on yourself, Master. Master, I'd wager those Saurians will- Ah, you've returned. Good first and foremost, my thanks. Are you ready to depart? Or Very well. Speak with me. You've done as I asked, I see. Many thanks for your efforts. And I must say, you've a fine arm. I couldn't have done better myself. Watching you got me thinking. Mayhap you've the sense to inherit the skills I possess. <laughs> Or perhaps it is a little early for such talk. In any event, thanks to the work you've done for us today, the rebuilding efforts ought to proceed apace. And for that, I'm grateful. All done, then. You've my gratitude. Make haste, then. We must leave anon. Good. Then let us be on our way. Is a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? Perhaps new discoveries await us above.
this day we relax new and old. Luck, tis a chest. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. These faces have grown mightily familiar. That explains the harmony betwixt us. Oh, that looks scrumptious, and I'm positively famished. I'd not say no to a bite myself. I think I'm here, really. I know just where to... Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. Tis uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet tis nowhere in sight. Aught may have befallen it. Best we press on. Here in Vermont, pawns are with Pawns are a... They're said to travel twixt the worlds through those, uh, rift stones. Could yon chest be hiding? I must know. Not all chests contain treasure, you know.
Someone saw fit to camp here, it would seem. There's no reason to rush into our bedrolls. This is just the sort of place that begs exploring. We'd best be prepared to make our own light before we proceed. Tis easily done. is pricked. Seems we've stumbled into Saurian territory. by the skin of our teeth. Let us pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and try not to slip up again. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things.
At last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Whenever I see so much as a gleam of treasure, I cannot help but want to claim it, however far it may be from our goal. You too? Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Times must be tedious if you've resorted to challenging beasts to bouts. we had ourselves a meal. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a bowl of hot stew.
feeling about this one. Promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. With this, my magic are yours to wield. Still room for improvement. Pure magics of the Wakestone can restore life to the departed. Tis not an item to be used lightly. 
we ought to keep it safe till the opportune moment presents itself. weren't so far away. Water is seeping through here. I wonder what that means. to have come through unscathed. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. <sighs> Did anyone else see that? Ort catches the light. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Stone shards are worth their weight in gold when one has enough of them to combine. We must take care not to throw it away by mistake. Our vocations are of little import. Mutual trust. The find of the century, I dare say. I wonder whether my master from beyond the rift managed to find that. Somehow I doubt it.
treasure chest. Oh, I can hardly wait to open it. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. With this, my magics are yours to wield. Ourselves a pat on the back. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. Take this. Tis something I found. I wanted you to have it. Stella bombardment shall leave nothing standing. A passage here. Truly, there are secrets around every corner. I have a feeling it is best left untraveled. Am I the only one? Treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it.
needed. And I might just let you leave. This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. I mislike the look of that. Only misery awaits the one game enough to touch it, I fear. Quite right. Let sleeping dogs lie, as they say. so fast I can hardly keep you in my sights arisen no time to catch your breath try to keep up I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. I say we collect as much as we can carry. chest lies maddeningly close. I can divine no way to reach it. I had a feeling that rest would do us good. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste.
out of a mind to fight today, Arisen. Bats arisen. I'd prefer to stay far away from it. Tis like there's not some manner of trap. Quite right. Let sleeping dogs lie, as they say. Tracks is best to. You can let me. Feast your eyes on this. There's no debilitation a curative cannot mend. With this, my magics are yours to wield! Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. You're all right. I've got you. Together we are indomitable. Just think what we could achieve if we honed our talents further. The find of the century, I dare say. I wonder whether my master from beyond the rift managed to find that. Somehow I get it. 
This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. Lucky us. That's worth taking. A cavern of all things. It seems undisturbed. Mayhap we'll be the first ones to explore it. Might I recommend we venture inside before bandits find us? Come to think of it, we're all of differing vocations, aren't we? That is most fortuitous. At the end of the day, our vocations are of little import. Mutual trust is what counts. These writings could be of import. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. I'm only glad to have proven my worth. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Very well. I shall return. I'd not have thought we'd find one here. The thrill of discovery never gets old. Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. This is just what's needed. A passage. Here. Truly. There are secrets around every corner. I've a feeling tis best left untraveled. Am I the only one?
Tread carefully. There is no telling what might lurk within. Have no fear. Whatever comes, tis surely no worse than aught we faced before. allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Harm could there be in having a peek? I've got a good feeling about this one. Never find one. A splendid discovery. Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. While traveling beyond the rift, I uncovered a treasure chest hidden in this very locale. Shall we seek it out? Ah, yes. Give me a moment to recall the way. I know the way. Follow me. We have been given a destination. Shall we venture forth? a long one, but here we are at last. Are we taking a load off so soon? We've only just rested. I understand the inclination arisen. Camping is one of life's simple Treasure pleasures chest. after all. We shall have to find a way to reach it.
I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like this. Might I recommend we venture inside before bandits find us? Arisen, I should have expected you may yet linger here. If you need that destroyed, I'm your pawn. Shall I assist? I am poised to strike. Just say the word. Shall I assist? This is an obstacle I'd sooner be rid of. Ranged attacks are my speciality, Master. Shall I assist? This gloom has an eerie cast. to pick quarrels with beasts. Spiders! Ugh. Tis a dreadful fright when they appear so suddenly. Untamable as far as beasts go. I've just recalled, a campsite I found while beyond the rift isn't far from here. Shall we go? My magics are at your disposal. With this, my magics are yours to wield. Naught spurs the imagination like places yet unvisited. I hope we'll find treasures aplenty, don't you, Arisen? Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. Looking up? All the more so if we sell this newfound car. Keep a pocket smith for shallower troubles, they say. Look here! A path! Is it safe? 
safe, I wonder. I have a feeling to best left untracked. Am I the only one? While traveling beyond the rift, I uncovered a treasure chest hidden in this very notepad. Shall we seek it out? An astounding discovery. Indeed. Good on you for being so observant. that we're not to be trifled with. If we must, let us finish this quickly. Fear not, tis well in hand. Oh, we prevailed by the skin of our teeth. Team we make arisen. Tread carefully. It seems our every step is being watched. You say that, but I sense no hostility. Whatever's going on here, I don't think they mean us any harm. You there? Are you looking to enter the village? You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. You best go there's no business to be had here. Mm. 
It is no more or less than what one might have expected. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Hmm. I have things to do, if you don't mind. What you need of me? Chickens, Arisen. Take care. Their cries can startle other creatures. Here to ask all of me, are you? Is that who I think it is? Aye, I reckon so. Rather more common looking than I'd expected. But I suppose that's neither here nor there. What could yon chest be? Or you, neither me. Or you need of me. Arisen, I knew you loved this world too much to leave. Do I disappoint you, Master? Well met, sir. How much have you observed? To ask all of me, are you? Oh, how lovely. I'll have to remember this place. Yeah? What is it? must be the visitor I've heard so much about. Have you some business here in the village? You would know of our village? As you can see, tis a simple place, tucked away on the eastern edge of Vermin. Is there all else I can help you with, sir? <laughs> As you like, sir. This is, of course. Nothing's free in this world. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this... Is a Good morrow, everyone. This is the inn. We've root course. Nothing's free in this world.
by again. Fancy look at my wares. Well met, sir. How might I... I'll be of service. Do come again. Nothing caught your eye? Oh, that's a shame. Let's hope there's aught worth our coin next time. Gold is a resource best. Spent judiciously. Always a pleasure. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Having more of these to hand ought to serve us well in battle. What say we pelt one at the next foe we encounter? Dare I presume I've caught your eye? <gasps> A treasure chest! I can hardly wait to open it. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Hey. How'd he know to expect you? I couldn't tell you. Why not ask him yourself? You'll find him in the manor atop the on hill. Don't bring trouble to my door. Can't say I've any tidings to share. I would appreciate your swift return.
You made it after all. <laughs> Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. This bodes ill. You're the one then. Fine. I... How dare you? You've my gratitude. Just what I was waiting for. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? Aye. Till next time, then. Now, as to the Maester's teaching. Not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. What brings you here? Oh, Master, I thought I might never see you again! Do take care not to stray so far next time. Now here's a surprise. The thrill of discovery never gets old. Interesting. I've got a good feeling about this one. Everyone has their own reasons for doing battle, but knowing that doesn't make it any easier to join the fray. I knew it to be so. This one shaking. This spell will empower you with elemental magic. We're under attack! 
well fought, Arisen. Keep on like that and we'll be done here soon enough! A result to be proud of. Let me be the one to collect it. Lucky us! That's worth taking! We are none of us alike in vocation. That is most fortuitous. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Our collection grows. Interesting. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? We've little need. Sub. seeks a motivated soldier to inspire the- Alt! You are approaching the gates of Vernworth, capital of Vermont. 
None may pass without the proper documents. If you've an entry permit, an invitation, or proof of citizenship, present it now. Nothing to show? Go on then, away with you! What do you think you're doing? I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Your anger is well justified, and I shan't deny you it. However, I am obliged to make you aware of your situation. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous Consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the Consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Such quietude is a blessing. Say, you've got a decent arm on you, and no need to be humble. Just the other day, I watched you fell a massive monster with my own two eyes. I've never seen the like. Pray, sir, teach me to fight like you do. I'm after an instructor, see, but the ones in this city are cravens all. The sort that decided to teach to avoid the battlefield. If I'm to grow stronger, I need to learn from someone who's seen actual battle. A real warrior, such as yourself. Won't you give me a chance? And this Baron fellow, he's a real warrior. I suppose you wouldn't recommend him if he wasn't. And after all, I've seen your prowess. I'm inclined to trust your judgment. Many thanks, sir. Methinks I'll seek out this Baron and see what he can teach me. Over here, if you would. This ox cart, I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due.
How dare you! Your skill, Master. <laughs> Where are you going? Glimmer gorgeously this night. Right you are. Oh. I've you to thank for that new recruit, I. The lad's well eager, he is. He fears naught, and he follows my commands with nary a word of complaint. Soldiers like him boost the morale of all around them. His presence bodes well, and I've you to thank for it. There's just one problem. Seeing a lad so spirited, so foolhardy, makes me recall a time when I was much the same. Sets my blood to boiling, you see. Makes me yearn for a bout with a skilled combatant. Need I explain further? I test my steel against yours, friend. What say you? Care to spar with me a bit? Glad to hear it. Follow me, then. Think of it like a game. Whoever steps out first, loses. Simple enough, eh? Seeing as you're no warrior, you do well to strike when I'm off ballot. Let's begin. Fight well! Seems I expected how oh, much of you. I dare say I needed that. You've my thanks. I've ne'er met anyone like you. You've done more for me this past while than a commendable sort you are. Would that I had some way to repay you for all the good you've done me. Sir Baron, you must come, and quickly. A goblin pack has descended over by the rope bridge. We're in need of your aid. My thanks for the report. I'll go at once. Goblins can be dastardly. We'll have need of capable fighters. The more, the better. I'd fain have you up my side, friend, if you'd be willing to join the fray. Quick! Are here! Watch my back! I'm not sure they're ready for this, truth be told. I'd have you join us on the battlefield if you're able. You're a welcome sight, Arisen. As ever, I'm yours to command. Tis a glad thing we rest a little bit. We must not let down our guard. Magic's 
are at your disposal. Exact. Hail, Arisen. Tis plain you've been training dip. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's aught to be found while we're here? Staring arisen. Has aught yonder caught your eye? Randall! What happened? Speak to me, lad! Sir, we managed to fell the goblins, but then a cyclops charged us out of nowhere, wounded and enraged. We stuck the beast with arrows till one of them pierced its eye. It fled, but I've no doubt to a return. Now mind that, lad. You survived, and that's what counts. Let's get you back to the encampment, aye? It would seem my days of peace are at an end. Do you recall the soldier we met on the road? He was rather badly injured in the goblin melee. They'll want me to take responsibility for that, I just know it. Shan't be long before I'm forced to resign from my post. I doubt such a thing would be asked of any human instructor. But I'm beastin', aren't I? There's no fighting it. But I'll be damned if I let the troops suffer on my account. In the time that remains to me, I'll get them trained up as best I can. Vermin's treatment of Beastrons is lamentable indeed. This shan't go down well. This shan't go down well. This sh Tis well to be prepared. But oh, the preparation will serve us not. I knew that I could count upon your strength, Arisen. Our little band has come to feel like a family. Our combined might is a force to be reckoned with. I say we fought for a... Well met. You couldn't have come at a better time. Word of my dismissal arrived just a few hours past. Twould seem my time here has reached its end. Can't say I'm happy about it. I'm rather fond of this place. And if you'll remember, it is where you and I first spoke. Going, are you? Be well, friends. Sir! A Cyclops is coming! A Cyclops! Better, as twere, but I'll live, and I expect we all shall. Glad to hear it. 
Make for the encampment and inform your captain of what happened here. Quickly now. Aye, sir. A proud success. Uh, full glad I am to see you unharmed, my friend. Many thanks for your aid back there. You're like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. Thank heavens. Amazing. Arisen. I should have expected you may yet linger here. Amazing. We're here, and none the worse. Hi there. Impeccable timing as always. I was just wondering if I'd get to see you one more time before I departed. And here you are. You've done much on my behalf, tis true. I can't rightly express how grateful I am to you, friend. If this ordeal has taught me anything, tis to have faith in my ability as an instructor. That's why I'm headed for the checkpoint rest town, Owen Patel. See, I have a friend who emigrated there, who happens to be in need of an instructor. And I figured if I'm being ousted anyhow, might as well go someplace new. Even if it means serving under different banners, at least I'll still be helping soldiers come home. And in one piece, suppose this is where we part, eh? Be well, friend. And may the sun shine brightly on what air road you're traveling. I am glad to know that Sir Baron has found a new path. Mayhap we ought to go and visit him later, see how he fares. I... like that! That went as well as we might have hoped. Let us cast our eyes about and analyze the situation. There's a ladder here. After you, Arisen. Well met. You, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. There are worse things than... Up we get. We can expect a busy night. Shall we check our packs and be off? I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor. <laughs> One never can have too many of these. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. Yon chest be hiding. I must know. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Oh! I'd not have thought we'd find one here. Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Oh, it's clear. It's clear. It's clear. It's clear. It's clear. 
Ausschüsse. Market, I go. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right. <laughs> On the roads, despite the hour, you know where to find. Greetings. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vote. Have you found any of the items we discussed, perchance? Forgive me. You see? And we cannot simply purchase more. So regrettably, I can't. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guilt? Methinks Roderick will be. He runs the local armor. May fortune smile upon you, sir. Where ought we to begin our search? Greetings. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocation. If there is aught I may- Do come again! It is not a matter for prying ears. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect a delta. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace. But the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry 